Hi folks, Elaine Edelson, Modern Mystic, your Prophet to Prophet. Today we are talking about the Mercury in retrograde in the sign of Virgo, which is an Earth sign. Now given the fact that in astrology, Virgo is guided by the planet Mercury, that it's going retrograde is extra special. <laughs> We're going to feel this now. Today is August 10th and astronomically speaking, it's out of this world. The retrograde begins on August 20th all the way through September 12th. So during that entire time frame, add a week on either side because that extra seven days is the beginning of the process and then the ending of the process. So what happens in a retrograde? You know, people run screaming, ah, no, don't do that. It can be a lot of fun it, if you're paying attention and then you're gonna lose your attention, without a doubt, you will. But I wrote some notes so I wouldn't forget because I'm already starting to forget. Number one, allow for extra time in a Mercury retrograde. For instance, let's say you're walking your dog and it takes 10 minutes to walk your dog, but in 20 minutes you have a business phone meeting at your house, a conference line or something, and you're, you know, add more time because inevitably your dog will see a squirrel, start running, and then you're out there for 20 minutes looking for your dog and you miss your meeting. Uh, things like that ha tend to happen. People literally become the dog Doug in the movie Up. So as they're talking and they lose focus, squirrel, exactly. That's what happens. You're just gonna, your mind is gonna go. <laughs> so, first and foremost, allow for extra time. If you can refrain from buying electronic equipment during this time frame, please do. If you absolutely must, get a receipt <laughs> and glue it to the wall so you know where it is because inevitably you will also encounter some kind of freaky technological business like you call your mother hi mom but some strange person answers the phone or you leave a message for someone and they don't get back to you and you're thinking well what the heck uh, well in most cases they probably didn't get the message so what you really want to look for in a mercury retrograde and this is the best part is your judgments look for what you expect to be happening in the outside world when it doesn't go your way what's your behavior what changes in you because that's really the key in any retrograde the you know and i'm a huge proponent of using astrology but please don't think that the planets you know rule you you're not a puppet no strings so when the planets make a move you feel it when you make a move they show it mirror mirror on the cosmic wall that's how it works so also if you know this is the fun part in a retrograde pay attention as much as you can as best as you can listen for your own inner clues as to what the issue is because a recurring pattern will reveal itself in a mercury retrograde now I want to talk especially about oh uh, and the best part is that people will reveal things that they're not supposed to <laughs> or whoops a big whoops has happened so listen because you'll get inside information which is kind of fun sometimes now imagine this going on in the universe there is a triangle imagine that shape and on one side you have an opinion a situation a topic a subject an issue Directly opposite, you have the opposite side. Oppos opposing forces, difference of opinion, the conflict. And then here at the peak, at the pinnacle, you have the evaluation or the judgment. And I don't, I'm not talking about a, uh, a negative judgment or a positive judgment. It's just an evaluation. Someone or something or an energy that is evaluating both sides of the situation. So during this entire retrograde, you're going to be asked to go in and look at what is what's happening on both sides of this issue and it can be unnerving at times it can be quite clear so it's going to